let's be real if you have to think of a certain scenario to wear an item you're probably not gonna wear it hi everyone in today's video i am gonna talk about minimalism if you ever wonder why i am always wearing the same clothes it's because i have very little and i'm actually gonna go through them today and declutter with you so the background now looks a little messy because i forgot to put this part in the beginning of the video i think minimalism is just different for each and every person it's a relationship between you and your own stuff no one else's input should have anything to do with it i am keeping what matters to me that means if i love it or i use it then i'm gonna go ahead and keep it as for clothing if i haven't worn it in months i will kind of put it aside if i notice i still am not reaching for it then i can go ahead and get rid of it that's my usual method what i'm doing today is more so i just left everything because i wanted to film a video on it so this is not what i usually do i don't do these big decluttering sprees because I just kind of do it as I go. That's just what I prefer. I don't like hanging on to stuff that I don't need or want anymore. I am really quick to get rid of stuff. And by getting rid of stuff, I do mean to donate or just rehome, find a better home for it, as I have with a lot of my plants. I don't put myself on any bands. That's for pretty much all aspects of my life. I don't need to put myself on a purchasing band because I have changed my mindset when it comes to having stuff because I don't like having any clutter. Something that will probably give you a better example is if you go back to my oldest videos, they are like a minimalism apartment tour that I basically showed you everything in our apartment when we were living in it at the time. Right now is not the best example, I guess, because everything my husband and I own, who my husband is not a minimalist, by the way, but everything that we own is basically in one room. So everything that we had in our apartment is now in one room and then some in the garage. Those videos are much better examples of how I usually keep things. I even have a video called How to Keep Things Tidy, Tiny Home Hacks, something like that. I'm going to have it above at the top. I was able to keep my apartment exactly as you see in those videos tidy the entire time we were living in it. I'm not really able to use those methods now because of our temporary living space. So I'm just going to go ahead and get straight into the so video. I keep most of my clothing in a single wire rack from Ikea. It basically has these that go into a frame there's four of them but I have three on the bed right now because the last one has underwear in it and I'm not gonna declutter that especially on camera so the way that I actually fold most of my clothes you can't really tell because there's not much in here but I do the KonMari method I do love the book the life-changing magic of tidying up by Marie Kondo it's just I don't do certain things like talk to my clothes and thank it for serving me I mean they're not plans instead of just looking at your clothes and picking out what you want to get rid of I pick out what I want to keep and then everything else can kind of go if anything is in the hamper I am not gonna go through that the way that I decide what I want to keep is if I obviously wear it a lot and if I love it I wear this a lot this is just a sports bra that's a little bit longer this is a pair of Lululemon wonder unders that I'm gonna keep shorts that I still wear this is a house plant plant club shirt that my husband ordered for me because he is the sweetest ever and I cropped it I basically have a uniform for myself and that sounds really weird but I basically only wear things that are cropped and high-waisted if something in my clothing doesn't necessarily fit that I probably won't buy it and I probably won't wear it in this crop top I'm keeping that. Another crop top, and I do wear this. This is a baseball tee that is cropped. Don't really wear it because I don't think it fits me that well. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Don't wear this. It has like cutouts on the sleeve, which we're in at one point. Something I try not to do anymore is to buy trendy clothes. I dress really plain because trendy clothes, I get over it pretty quick. I will donate that. The plain crop. I'm keeping this is another one in a different color that I'm keeping this is a workout top that I'm keeping something I won't do is creating a scenario to make myself keep something because let's be real if you have to think of a certain scenario to wear an item you're probably not gonna wear it and I used to do that a lot because even when I was not a minimalist I would declutter my closet off and I would just keep buying a lot in place for that which is not what I do now one way that I would kind of hang on to things is by creating a scenario like let's say I had a 
really ratty shirt that I wasn't wearing anymore and then I would think of a scenario like what if I go on a hike I don't want to mess up my other clothes so I will wear that but I never really wore that one item you are not saving any money by hanging on to something you're not gonna wear that money has already been wasted by you not wearing it and already buying it so if it sits there and collects dust you're not saving money on it I apologize if this video is gonna be all over the place but whatever pops into my mind that's what I'm saying this is a sports bra keeping another sports bra that I'm keeping there is Lekka in here another sports bra I'm keeping another pair of Lululemons this another pair of Lululemons <laughs> I'm gonna keep this I wear this as well I used to have a lot of Nike pros but I don't think I'm gonna keep this because I don't wear it I used to be into wearing shorts when I work out but not so much anymore there are certain ones that I feel more comfortable in I'm keeping this so I have gone to a lot of Jonas Brothers concerts before I held on to them hoping that they would get back together and they did. I'm going to a Jonas Brothers concert in December. It's gonna be my third one because my husband surprised me with tickets. Yeah. Keeping that. This is ridiculous. This is Deleka. Where I keep this is not the most ideal spot. My clothing is kind of just out there and kind of near my plants which is why I'm finding random Leka pieces in here. I have not worn this. I'll go ahead and get rid of that so for clothing it is okay to be picky with the clothing that you keep because if it is not the right color right fabric or something that you don't like about it you're probably not going to reach for it because when i noticed i had a lot more clothing in the past I would still kind of wear the same things regardless and I would have a whole bunch of other clothes I just never touched just sitting in my closet. Sleepwear that has not held up very well. I am just going to get rid of all of them. Okay, so now moving on to swimwear. I don't wear this. The rest of my swimwear is just right there and I'm going to keep all of those. So far, this is the pile. I feel like I should do a count of how much Lekka I found so far. So this is five pieces. Moving on to things that were on the hangers. These are work pants I'm keeping. This top is very unflattering on me, so I'm not keeping it. This needs to be ironed, <laughs> but I wear it. This one too, another work top. It's kind of things I have to hang on to stuff for interviews because I obviously don't wear it that often, but I do need it, so I'm gonna hang on to this. Yeah, I don't dress this Formally. I have a white coat for my job, but I do have to hang on to that. I love this jacket. I wear it in the fall a lot. It's probably from Old Navy. It's pretty old. And here is another shirt. This might be from the men's section. I used to shop from the men's section a lot. It's kind of similar to the last one, but I do wear it and they look different in my opinion. This I've had since high school. It's held up. It's from H&M. I still like this. I wear it from the boys section in J. Crew, and I do wear them. Here is another button up from the J. Crew boys line. <laughs> I wear most of my clothes. With decluttering and you already don't have that much clothes to begin with, I'm obviously not going to be getting rid of a ton of clothing. This might have been more interesting if I had a bunch of clothes to start with. Yeah, that's actually a lot for me to get rid of at once because I normally just do like one at a time again from the boys segment. okay I have a total of I think five dresses total this is, this is all I have that's hanging I'm gonna get rid of one of them for sure this was my graduation dress from grad school so I like it this dress does not fit right on me this it's pretty cute I'm gonna keep that this dress was actually my high school graduation dress and I've worn it so many times. I'm still keeping that. This is one of my go-tos. It's just a simple black dress. I am not gonna go over all the sweaters yet because it hasn't reached that season so I don't know if I'm exactly gonna reach for them. This is like a short type of thing and I still wear that. This gets so wrinkly but I'm gonna hang on to it. So I wore this recently in an Instagram photo. I've had this since high school. It rides up so much and it shows a little bit more than I want to. So I'm actually going to get rid of this. Here is another one. It's similar to that but a dark green color. Bralette thing I don't really wear. And then this shirt I don't really wear. I've had this jacket since high school. I do like the style. It's just that the way that it kind of fits on me. 
I have basically shown you 99% of my clothing. The rest of it is in the hamper, some winter clothing, and scrubs, and other work clothes. So this right here is what I'm getting rid of. Percentage-wise of my clothing, this is actually a lot. I also plan to make another video about my plant purchases. I'm very selective when it comes to purchasing my plants too, which is why I have been able to keep my collection pretty small, in my opinion. I plan to do another video about how I shop. I think I think it's a pretty common thing that a lot of people go into Target expecting to walk out with like one mascara and you come out with an entire cart, right? So that used to be me too. I plan to do another video on how I don't do that, how I am able to walk out of Target with what I intended to buy. Let me know in the comments below if you are into decluttering, if you are interested in minimalist videos, just any video ideas you can leave down below. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye. I was not on a plant. Why do I want to see a plant? That's embarrassing. <laughs>